Hey everybody, let's take a look at a rig tip for saving skin weights. It's been a while since we've done one of these and I've seen some questions and confusion over this uh, coming across Twitter and a few other forums. And since Autodesk just released this brand new game kit, if we go um, check out the Indie Game Maker, CatFu, um, there's a bunch of assets in here that includes this uh, final 3D character. So um, the first thing I did was go check out the assets since this is available and is offered as a teaching tool. And the first thing I found was, of course, um, there's an issue with the bind pose and some other problems like, um, you know, just problems with the skeleton and the skin and the default uh, joint alignment. I'll show you these real quick and then we'll get to actual uh, saving of skin weights and why we're talking about that. So if I go ahead and uh, select joints and set them rotationally to zero, this ends up being what our default rotation ends up being, which is not helpful. Um, the other option is to go up to skin and say go to bind pose um, and that jumps us to here, which again is also not helpful. Uh, so there's a couple couple problems going on. Um, if we were to actually try to fix this and do this properly, uh, there's a bunch of tips and things that we could go through. But the main part is, in Maya 2016, um, let's back up. Previous versions of Maya had um, saving out skin weights built in using image maps. And it was clunky and it made a bunch of pictures and it had a lot of problems and so most people used scripts and didn't want to touch anything to do with Maya's weight saving. They had a bonus tool that was able to save out weights to a file and then they moved it into the actual deform menu but in 2016 for some reason when they went in and redid the menus they they left the old name but with the new tool. So down here under weight maps it says weight maps, export weight maps, import weight maps under deform, and that's the old name. So most people look at that and go, I don't want weight maps, and they don't use it. But really, this is uh, exporting an XML file with vert weights. So let's take a look at doing that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, skin cluster one is our skin cluster. So um, I'm going to say export weight maps, and the menu is, is limited. Uh, you have to do one skin cluster at a time, which is unfortunate. Um, so this needs some work, but the actual saving and importing does a pretty good job. So uh, skin cluster one, and if you grab something else, it doesn't refresh. So um, you can you basically have to reload the file each time. And uh, thankfully, Maya 2016 added a middle mouse click, so I can just middle mouse. Um, I can grab, let's say, the eyeball or something else in the scene, and uh, maybe I can grab the eyeball, let's see, and then I can just middle mouse and reload the exporter to former weights, and you can see that by that. So once I close it, I can grab something else and middle mouse and reload the file. Okay, so this is still called the form weights, but again, this is going to save out a file name. So it, you can see here, it's saving out an XML file, and this will be uh, cat foo body, and I'll hit apply. So now, here it's saved out the weights to this XML file, and if we were to actually go open the file up and look at it, it's just a set of weights and information. and it's good to understand that because we can actually um, edit that file if we needed to. Um, go in and change bone names or fix it. So then we close that and we can go ahead and grab the skin cluster and turn the envelope off and you can see that here's what our mesh should look like. So here's where the, the fingers are supposed to be and so I'm going to go ahead and um, delete the skin cluster off 
fix the arm by rotating it. Um, there's a couple ways to do that, but you know we can we can rotate the hand down into position here. Um, we should go in and fix the joint orient, but anyway, I'm not going through the whole process. I'm just saying we would fix it. We would go ahead and delete history on this thing. Delete by type history. You can remove the skin weights that way. Uh, you can also go up to deform and um, I'm sorry, skin, and delete the skin that way. Unbind skin, delete history, remove colors. Hit OK. All right, so now here's the updated, you know, we've, we've gotten rid of the skinning. And I'm just going to go ahead and fix the hand here. Close enough. It's, it's in a better T position at least, so when we go to bind pose, it'll be be usable. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and select our skin here, select similar, reskin our mesh with the bind skin, and there's a bunch of, again, ways to do this. Because I'm going to replace the weights, I actually just want the fastest thing, so I'm going to do select joints and um, closest distance and one influence and hit apply. This way, um, oh, and it needs allow multiple bind poses because there's still a bad bind pose in there. So, hit apply. Okay. So now this is reskinned. It's got a new skin cluster. I'll use the deform import weight map, and it's showing me the existing skin clusters in the scene. So I've selected this and loaded it, so I know that's correct. I'm going to use the Catfu asset and load that file in. And then you've got a couple different options. Now, in 2016 uh, Service Pack, um, over and nearest now work, but anything but index would crash Maya before. So, again, use at your own risk, but understand that index works directly if there's been no mess changes. Over and nearest are fine in newer versions of Maya. You want normalize and ignore names. Um, everything's the same, so it should should work. Um, go ahead and apply. So you can see that imported my weights. And now if I go back and hide that. So now I've got the animation working. I've reloaded the weights, and we're back to what we had before. Uh, with the animation, but if I go select this and go to bind pose, you can see that it snaps it back to a T pose um, and is usable. So understand that at least you can save and export and import weight maps correctly inside of Maya. Just it's got the old name export weight maps um, instead of export weights. So there you go. Hopefully this gives you guys some tips and helpful helpful things dealing with bind poses and also understanding where the um, saving and importing skin weight tools are built into Maya. Um, also, just to show you and be aware, this is a full asset set from Maya and there are some problems built into it. So uh, if you go to animate this thing or you're trying to work with it from the um, game maker assets, then, you know, it might be a good challenge for anybody learning rigging to try to go in and fix this stuff. Um, these are the kind of things that we show in our rigging 101 classes, um, how not to happen. <laughs> we, we cover setting up the joints and making sure that the skeleton's clean from the beginning, um, and so that we have a good structure to build rigs off of, and we don't end up with things like the spine rotating over uh, 90 degrees and uh, bad bind poses and all that stuff. So if you're interested, check us out for some training if, uh, if it's not in your budget or time frame right now. Enjoy this video. All right. Thank you very much.